All right, guys, welcome back. Half fast, 719. Had a uh, buddy of mine come over. And, uh, yeah, he had a TIG weld and exhaust for his dirt bike, the pipe. So he used, came over, used the TIG welder and everything. Gas, shut off. So he used it. I don't know. Looked like he uh, fixed it. Um, it's really thin metal, so um, he's a pretty good welder. Um, anyway, and uh, we also did... Sorry, I might get a little windy out here. We also did a uh, brake master cylinder on the kid's truck. So, there's an old one. Um, okay, don't stay on there then. Stupid. Um, anyway... Just over here in the junk pile, you could see it was leaking by. Um, you have all the leaking all right down in here, so it was leaking by into through the seals. So um, went to AutoZone, picked one up, and uh, yeah, we stuck it on there. Uh, when I got home from picking it up, the kid already had it off his truck and uh, we stuck it on we had to bench bleed it if you don't know what bench bleeding is google it basically you just stick it in a bench and you push that shaft you fill it with fluid you stick some hoses in here you stick the hoses back in the reservoir you pump it pump it pump it to get this all the air out so you don't put all the air into your lines um, right off the bat so there's a lot less bleeding, a lot less work you have to do later. So, it's a new brake booster. Really nothing to it. Um, just crack these two lines here, and then you take these lines off. You can take these two lines and you spin them, spin them out of the way. You take the two bolt, two nuts. There's a nut here, a nut on the other side. It's pretty straightforward. Um, put fluid in it stick it back on um what i did what we did was cleaned inside here in the brake booster um we thought the brake booster was going bad but when you pull this vacuum line off it still retains a lot of vacuum so uh but yeah then we went through and bled all the brakes starting from starting from the uh passenger rear so Basically, you just want to start from the farthest line back, so this way all the fluid goes to the farthest. So, we did that wheel, uh, rear rear passenger, rear driver, passenger front, and then driver front. So, anyway, and here's a quick little look at his first gen Cummins motor engine. Um, we got pusher pusher intake uh, hot and cold side tubes so it's the hot side and it comes in through the intercooler goes into the cold side um, it's got a 3200 governor spring a fuel pin I turned the screw up nothing too crazy though um, I think I think he needs a new turbo um, he doesn't think he does but anyway this is his first gen. I keep telling him to buy a new car or a used little car and park this and uh, not really restore it, but just uh, do some different stuff with it. We did have uh, 50 horsepower injectors in here. And uh, as you can see, we got the new copper return line fittings. But we had uh, 50, I think it was 50 or 25 horsepower injectors in here and it was just flooding it out it was just dumping too much fuel in for all the other stuff that we've done to it basically he just needed a bigger turbo and then those injectors would probably be fine so maybe we'll get an HX 35 or something for this it does have the banks big head wastegate um, this is a banks uh, 
turbine housing. I don't remember which one it is, um, but it's a bigger, it's either bigger or smaller than factory. So it uh, spools up a lot quicker. But uh, I think one of our other problems we're having with the truck, not really a problem, but anyway, um, because these uh, tubes are so big that it's it needs a bigger turbo because it's a lot more volume of air that's traveling through, whereas the other ones were tiny. I think uh, these are two and a half inch tubing, and the other ones like two inch, one and three quarter or two inch tubing, and uh, it would push a lot faster. So if you know if you have smaller, smaller, smaller lines, high pressure, it'll it, you can get higher pressure blowing out of it, kind of like a Venturi effect. But anyway, uh, but yeah, I think that's one of his issues is the the hot and cold side or the pipes are too big for the turbo. So it's just putting in a lot of volume, a lot of air in there, and then like, like just <sighs> blowing it out instead of pressurizing, building a, building a boost, kind of like a two-stroke uh, pipe. Two-stroke pipes are, they they bottleneck out, they go wide in the middle, and then they bottleneck really, really tight on the exit so that they keep all that boost in here so that it, the back pressure goes back into the cylinder, creates like a boost. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but that's what the problem is. I think that's the problem. But anyway, so yeah, anyway, uh, we put that in. He went for a drive. Everything's good, no leaks, everything's great. Because what was happening is his, I guess you have a primary and a secondary uh, pressure. So he'd push the push the brake pedal and then once he'd push it and then the truck would stop, it would go to the floor. So anyway, that's all done. It's like 80 bucks. I want to say 80 bucks. Um, lifetime warranty from good old AutoZone. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, the projects are all done. Sorry for the wind. Um, but yeah, well, I've got the wife's car washed. It's all washed. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, got some boxes, got the garage a little bit cleaner, and then dirtied it just the same. Um, I'm going to do a tool review on this. I think I don't think I did an actual tool review or my thoughts or my opinions on it, but anyway, that'll be up uh, for Thursday's tool review. And uh, yeah, so I still have some vinyl wrap I got to do on the fourth gen. So I'm trying to do the mirrors and door handles. I don't know. Maybe I'll attempt that tomorrow when it's warm. Uh, but tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so that's why. I'll wash the car so it'll rain because that's how us Indians do it. But anyways, guys, that's it. Make sure you guys uh, leave a comment, subscribe, give me a like, check out my buddy One in Glen, check out uh, my new buddy, uh, Decent First Gen, Decent underscore first, the number one ST underscore Gen. Um, he's got a new project going on over there. And always just check out all the guys I guess I follow. I don't know if you can see uh, who's recommended. I'm always watching uh, uh, Chad Meyer 73. Um, he's always working on diesel stuff. Greg A. Uh, he's always working on stuff like that. Um, uh, everything diesel. Uh, I'm always watching his videos. He's kind of cool, kind of weird. Not, real, not really weird, but kind of reminds me of me, so I, I say I'm weird, but anyway. Um, and then, uh, you know, wa I watch Dippin' Diesel, you know, when he's with his buddy, I really can't stand watching him, but when he's by himself, I can watch him. But when he's with his roommate, I I seriously just skip, 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 because uh, he's a totally different person around that guy, and I really like that kid. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Later.